Okay, I've got this video in front of me, and let's say I wanted to add a vignette to the image for some reason. This is how you do that in DaVinci Resolve. You want to jump over to your color panel, and in there, you're, it should look a little something like this. You should have all your clips down here and the image that you're working on here. So I'm going to show you two things. I'm going to show you how to add it to an individual clip, and I'm going to show you how to add it to the video as a whole, to the whole timeline. So first, this is the one I want to add the vignetting to. What you want to do is over on the node here, right click and then scroll to add node and then add serial. And this is going to create a copy of that. And you can rename it if you want. I never do, but it is possible to rename it. Just go to node label and label it vignette. With that selected, scroll down to the middle panel. Notice you've got linear, circular, polygon, um, what you want to do for a vignette is add a circle. So just click the little circle and notice now it's selected and we have the circle up here in the window. Drag, grab the middle one. So notice there's two dots, a blue and a red one. You're going to adjust your red one for your feathering. So let's start with the middle one, the blue one, and decide where we want that vignette to go. Don't worry if you can't see anything yet. Now I'm going to go down to my gamma. And in the gamma, you just want to crank that all the way to the left. So get it nice and darker, basically however dark you want it. And it's okay that it's doing the inside. If you look at the little node, you can kind of see what it's doing is it's darkening the middle, not the outside. In order to swap that, just go back down to that middle window. And you see you've got two options here. You want the one that has the little square with a circle in it and just click on it and there you go, it reverses it. We also want to adjust the feathering a little bit so with that I'm going to grab that outside one and kind of stretch it out a little bit and decide that's kind of where I want it. I'll expand it here a little bit so as you can see we've got a nice vignetting on that. Perfect. Now let's say I wanted to copy that to maybe the shot next to it because they're both from the same scene. All you need to do is be, have be clicked on it and go control C or command C on your keyboard, whichever it is. Go over to that one and you do a control V and notice we get that exact same thing. You can also I'm gonna undo that, right click, go add node, add serial, and put it on that other node as well if you want. And the reason why you're doing that is think of that as kind of an adjustment layer for Adobe users. That uh, second node is your adjustment layer that's coming over the actual video layer. That's uh, the way to think about it. Okay, now I mentioned I was going to show you how to do if I wanted to just do it to the whole video instead of each individual one because you don't want to spend all the time like copy and pasting. In the upper right, Notice you have here where it says clip. Switch that to timeline. Well, first, let's undo everything I just did. So I'm just deleting the nodes. Okay, now I've deleted those. Now I'll go up to clip, timeline. And now the changes I make, I'm going to happen to the whole timeline. They're going to happen to everything on it. From there, up here in the menus, you want your color menu, nodes, add serial node. And notice what it's doing. It did the same thing. It added a node. And then we're going to just go down to that middle window. We're going to check our circle. It's going to add it. We're going to drag and drop it just like we did before. Go down to your gamma just like before and drag it to the left pretty dark. I'm going to hit the little circle in the square and I've got that vignette. And you can always adjust it too now that I've reversed it. Let's say maybe I don't want it as extreme of a vignette. I can just go down to the gamma and adjust a little bit. Maybe change my vignetting. 
increase the circle if I want. And it's going to do it to all of them. So notice if I jump over to this one, notice now I've got it on there. The other ones, even if you go over to your editing window, we've got a nice vignette. Not a lot of intro needed on that, unlike other videos where they spend half the video just doing the intro. All you need to do is go to the caller window, add a node, add the circle, and more or less you're done. As always, hope you found that useful and have a good day.